welcome to the building class or building lesson. Uh, we are part of the Innovation Festival 2020. It's the 17th of September today and I'm here in the sandbox in the festival ground and uh, would like to build a boat. That was the challenge, how to build a boat within a matter of three days, but we've reduced it to three hours. Okay. Um, now we're going, we're going to look a little bit at a time-lapse video as I'm trying and testing out the different properties of the object. And this object is called a prim. Um, you can get resin rides uh, only if you're part of the group on Nation to avoid people cluttering the sim, obviously. Um, but um, So if you approach Hike Field, then you can be added to the group. And... Uh, it's beautiful to watch uh, how a prim actually turns into an oblong shaped uh, uh, object and then it's been cut out, the path cut out, um, so you've just seen it, it's called hollow actually. So I'm hollowing out a, a piece of wood and then maybe that's not the best way of doing it but <laughs> this is what I've decided to do. Well. Um, when aligning this piece of wood um, or enlarging it, um, I have to add the bottom separately. So I've decided on a kind of a half circular shape, which I'm again editing out to be as flat as possible and obviously as large as the upper piece. Um, at a later date, we can then join these two prims together. And the alignment has taken up quite a bit of time, I must admit. I mean, I went crazy. It was really a matter of uh, uh, also going into the objects and uh, editing the numbers uh, of the object to make it just a perfect fit. A bit of a fast forward to uh, <laughs> with a few hours work. No, it's not true for a few hours, but I mean, uh, I'm a perfectionist and so I want <laughs> to get it just right. So, and in the end of the day, um, I joined the two prims to make them one. And this way I could also make them smaller and bigger um, as one object. And here I'm trying and testing out my creation. I actually put it just on the water. It does afloat, but to be honest, um, I tried to sit in it. <laughs> and it would only let me sit on the outer edge and so what I did is I tried what's known as a sitting script yeah um, you can get them free from the wiki space of Linden Lab or uh, tons of scripts you can get for free and a sitting script is a very simple one and I found out that no matter what I did to the boat um, it would actually have me sit in the boat upside down so I had to build a seat so this is what I did. I added the script again, the sitting position. And as you can see, she's still not sitting outright. Um, and to change the numbers didn't make much difference apart from that she went one side or the other side. And so I always had to look, she's sitting right <laughs> a bit further away. So it was a matter of tweaking the numbers, but it's always, it was also a matter of actually then turning around that piece of wood because she would only sit in that direction and um, the zero rotation, I didn't know how, how to change that to make it look forward. Anyway, this is what I did. I changed the plywood uh, to make it then sit in another direction and that made her then sit in the right direction. By the way, this is an, another avatar of mine that I tend to use for recording, but she had to be my my guinea pig to, to um, for the sitting positions. So it was a lot of tweaking around. Eventually, I got her to sit properly, and um, this way, I mean, I'm, I can use the scripts and I can amend scripts, but I can't write the scripts. So I'm quite grateful if there are others who are writing scripts, and and I could just add and change the numbers. So eventually. She, uh, we got her to sit properly. Ah, oh, that was that was a hard piece of work, but yes, we made her sit in a good position. That allowed me then to finish uh, the the boat, as in the textures. Um, it's just a texture to change the wood, and it's uh, 
well, I decided to, to try a couple of different, you know, different textures. It's so beautiful how with just a texture, this coat actually then turns into a masterpiece. Look at that. I mean, mahogany. So here comes the pole. Uh, it was also, uh, I mean, I could, I could also use, as I said, in the end, I used the numbers a lot more than just the, the visually a stretching and rotating and things like that um, to stretch. And it's, it's just nice, but it takes forever. So in the end of the day, when you go into the, the figures, yeah, this is why I didn't want it to look, I didn't want it to look flat. <laughs> So, as you can see, it takes quite a bit of time and, um, if you don't know what you're doing. And to be honest, I'm not such a professional builder. I'm, I'm, it's more a matter of trying and, and editing. and It's just funny. Here, see, this is where, when I went actually into the numbers and, and then became a lot more proficient in the process of it. So, and then was the matter of, okay, I needed a, a must. Uh, no, what do you call this pole? Um, in German, it's called mast. Uh, anyway, that's where the, the sail goes in the end. Um, decided on like just a triangular shape of, um, <laughs> yeah, triangular shape for the, for the sail, see? So here it is, Oblo and... Um, it looks like a sail, but it's probably not a sail. I mean, it's. Uh, <laughs> but yes, it's it's you know I'm, I'm I'm as I said I'm not a master builder, but it was a lot of fun to be honest. And I really like uh, how it then joins up and uh, ends up. So a pole, a pole had to be higher, obviously. A sail had to be white, uh, <laughs> and um, I decided to oh. I tried out physics and boop, the sail dropped down. <laughs> physics is a means of uh, turning objects in like to really drop down um, at times that is wanted when you know things. So here my proud production. It looks like a boat. It feels like a boat. I'm sitting in a boat, but let's try it out. So yes, I joined all of the objects together. That was uh, linking. It's called in second life. So, taking it, and off we go, da, 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 to the water, to Nation Island, and here we go, yeah, except for it doesn't sail, <laughs> it doesn't move, it doesn't flipping move, <laughs> it doesn't sink, that's one good thing, but it doesn't move. <laughs> So I needed a boat script and again you go on to the wiki in Second Life and, and other people are providing tons of scripts and this is where I left it as such. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy your um, experience. <laughs>